Today what we're going to talk about is stick welding with the Lincoln 275 Precision TIG. Now remember, there are different types of, of TIG machines in our booths, but every TIG machine is also a stick welder. These are constant current power supplies. So every TIG machine is also a stick welder, okay? We've done previous videos to show you how to set the machine up for steel and for aluminum. Now we're going to show you how to set it up to stick weld. First things first, we go back in, our power is on, plugged in, our gas is plugged in 100% argon, but here's the thing. With stick welding, we don't need any gas. No gas necessary. The gas that protects your weld is generated by the stick electrode when the flux burns. So we need no gas to do stick welding. We can get that cable right out of the way. Our ground clamp is going to stay the same. Our work clamp, ground clamp, we need to have that on our table. But we can put our TIG torch away. We will not use this to stick weld, so we're going to set that off to the side. Our pedal that we used for TIG welding, we do not use anymore. So we can set that off to the side. Now on this particular machine, because each machine's a little bit different, on this particular machine, this electrode holder is wired straight to the machine. So on, on some of the other machines, we have to change cables around a stick weld. We don't on the precision take. It's, made, it's just a switch. It's a flip of a switch is all we have to do to stick weld. So let's go back over to the machine. We've had this thing set up for TIG welding aluminum. So now what we're going to do to, to get ready to stick weld is, most important thing, we flip the switch up to stick welding. Okay? This one is going to go from using the pedal to using a straight up open circuit voltage on the end of your stick welder. So we have two switches to go from TIG to stick. We go from the using, not using the pedal to stick and take the TIG torch with the thumb start. It's a scratch start system with the, with the TIG. It's the same thing as stick. It gives us open circuit voltage. That is it. That is it on this machine. We do, however, have to select our polarity. Now keep in mind, when you're stick welding, Different electrodes run different polarities. Some electrodes only run DC positive. Some electrodes can run AC and DC positive. Some electrodes can run all three polarities. You'll find that out on your welding procedure and also by talking with your instructor. The two most common stick electrodes you're going to use in these classes though are 6010 electrode which runs only DC positive. The 7018 electrodes can run all three polarities, but the preferred polarity is DC positive. You could switch these with your 7018. You can switch them to negative, AC, and positive and see the difference. It will run with all of them, but the biggest polarity, the most common polarity for running 7018 is DC positive, and it is the only one that 6010 will run on. Now we have our open circuit voltage, so when we put an electrode in here, it is live. It touches the metal, sparks fly. We have our amperage control still. And where do you set your amperage? How do you set your amperage? That depends on the diameter of the electrode. That will be on your procedure, on your drawing. It'll give you a range where to set that. 90 to 100 amps, 70 to 80 amps, 70 to 90 amps. That you don't need to know. That will be on the procedure and the print that you're handed. So, again, to go through stick, we're plugged in, we lose the torch, we lose the pedal, we pull this out, it's already, the stinger comes out, it's already connected, it's already connected to the machine. We go to stick up, from the pedal up, and here is our amperage control. And that's basically it to turn this 275 onto a stick welder. Now you will come into your booths, there'll be someone in front of you or that was there before you or from the night before that was TIG welding with this and now you want to set it up for stick welding or vice versa. You, they were stick welding and you want to set it up for TIG. Just remember, it's all in these two switches and the polarity. That's pretty much it. Again, 
These controls we don't need to pay attention to right now. Those are for pulsation and other higher tech things that you'll get into a little bit later that your instructors will show you how to do. For stick, boom, boom, polarity, you are ready to go.